Have you ever downloaded a font from the internet and the picture that was advertised to you does not match what actually shows up when you actually type in a word, especially on Canva? Well, today we're going to talk about why and how to fix that. And sorry if I'm progressively getting sweatier throughout this video. I am currently in Thailand, which is going through a heat wave and it is freaking hot even with somewhat AC in my room. So let me show you what I'm talking about using Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is where I grab all of my fonts for print on demand, unless it's already preloaded into Canva or into my software. But usually the nicest fonts that you are going to find for a good price or include it in your subscription. I'm already paying for this subscription. So of course I'm gonna be using Creative Fabrica, but I like to grab, grab all my fonts from there. But sometimes the picture does not match what happens when you actually type in Canva when you've uploaded that font. For example, this one, look how beautiful that looks. I'm just gonna give that a download and upload it to Canva. First, quickly, to be able to even add a font to Canva, you do have to open up a text box and then under the font styles, just go down to the bottom here and hit upload a font and then upload the OTF file that you got from Creative Fabrica. So this is what I'm talking about. I use that exact font this one here and then i brought it into canva and even typed out exactly what it says but they do not match this Haley here is using the Haley font but it doesn't have that cool h doesn't have the cool l or the cool y which might have been the reason that you downloaded these fonts but you can actually still access these the problem actually lies with canva and its inability to add glyphs from their platform. Some other platforms have glyphs already available and accessible right in their platform. With Kittle, for example, you just have to hit the button glyphs and all of these special characters called glyphs are going to show up which you can select. But that is not a possibility in Canva, so we need to actually go outside of Canva first. If you are on a Mac, you already have an app called Fontbook and you're gonna need to open that up but if you have a PC, you are going to need to download an external app that is a font library. Some examples of these font apps are like Nexus Font or Fontbase. And then on top of adding your font file to Canva, you also want to add it into this library app. So on Fontbook, you can just hit the plus at the top here. Add in your file, and then you're actually going to see your new font showing up in your library and then if you open it, we have it here, we have regular. What you're going to do is, I'm just gonna make these a little bit smaller for you guys, is scroll down and at the bottom here, we are going to see all of these cool special characters that are available with this font. And we're going to find the ones that we want and we're going to copy them. So I've got my cool H here. I'm going to copy it and then move back to my Canva file. And then I'm going to delete the H that was automatically placed there and I'm going to paste in my new H, just go back. And there we go, we have added in a font glyph to our Canva file. And there we go, I've gone and found all the matching characters or all the cool characters that I wanted to add in. And this now matches what was advertised to me on Creative Fabrica. So if we just switch back over here, you're going to see now what we had purchased or downloaded matches exactly our Canva file. And if you've been on Etsy a lot and are familiar with what sells a lot, you have probably seen this design style. And if you were like me, you tried so hard to figure out how do I get this without having to draw it out myself. That was my first thought that people were just grabbing fonts and then maybe using their iPad to draw on like extra characters. But figuring this out has saved me so much time and I hope it was helpful for you too.